So in the previous video I showed you how to create a course on an e-learning instance of Chisimba and what I'm going to do in this video is to introduce you to the first of the tools that you need to become familiar with and that is the course control panel. So we are currently on the home page and again I apologize for the scrunching up of everything uh, in order to fit it in the video. So we're going to go to my courses um, and you can see that now the course that we created earlier is uh, listed here and if we click on the title or the image we'll go into the course on the right hand side here you'll see that there's a button that says turn editing on uh, which allows you to control the content of the of the course um, front page but we're going to ignore that for the time being and go over here you can see that on the bottom left we have course home which is where we are now course content we don't ha we haven't actually created any content file manager for uploading files course control panel which is how you manage your course and then of course leave course which takes you back out to the home page and locks you out of the course but not out of the system let's go to course control panel now what we can see is on the left hand side we have the same uh, links that we had before as well as a search box um, in the middle we have course settings, course members, and on the right we have course plugins. Course settings is where you would go and change any of the uh, settings that you made when you created the course. So you'd simply click change course settings here and go back into the, into the course uh, configuration. I'm not going to do that. Below that you can see we have course members, a little bit of it missing because of the scrunching up to fit in the video. And you can see that we've got lectures and we've got students. These words are abstracted. In a school configuration this would be teachers or educators and these would be learners or pupils depending on which way you set it up. And then on the right hand side we've got course plugins. These are the modules that can be used and that know about what it is to be in a course. So any data that they record or store is pertinent and, and relevant only to the course. We, you can see that we've got 14 plugins that we are not using. There are other modules that are useful in e-learning but there are 14 in the system in this particular installation um, that are meaningful in the e-learning context. So we could go and manage plugins by clicking the manage plugins link. We can also go down here and we can add either colleagues as, as additional lecturers in the course or we could add students. So let's go in here and let's add a couple of students. Susan Anthony, Francis Bacon, Fanny Braun, Bertha Butt. Um, that's probably enough for now. Let's add those as users to our course. And you can see now we have four students in our course. And now let's go back to the top here and let's top uh, right here and let's go manage plugins so let's say that we decided that we wanted to have uh, announcements in our course so we go there and select announcements go down to the bottom of the page and click save plugins now you can see that we've got announcements course content file manager and we've got 13 unused plugins and you can see that we've we've got our four students here and we could go back here and change the title or the status of the course or change its access settings but we won't do that so that's the basics of how you use the control panel once you've created a course in an e-learning instance of Chisimba thank you bye for now